Here's AC Mike. Hey, folks, welcome back to the AC Mike Show. Listen, so glad that you're with us here on this Saturday afternoon. Regardless of what you're doing, you may be cutting the lawn, I don't know, taking down the Halloween decorations. You may be doing that honeydew list. Whatever it is, make sure you keep the plugs in the ears, listening in the car, or whatever it is on your smart device or computer. Listen, we're so uh, happy and honored to have a friend from the west end of the county. Hey, call me AC Mike, Joe, but I'm from the west end of the county. I've never, never doubted that. Joe Wiesner, Wiesner Realty, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, Mike. I appreciate it very much. Oh, you're welcome, man. Thanks for getting in the car, coming on out here on your Saturday afternoon, taking time away from the family. Listen, uh, first, before we get into some of what's happening in, in the market and, and uh, some great information that you have lined up, let's get to know Joe a little bit. Well, I, uh, I'm from Hamilton. That's my hometown. And I, uh, I started really in, as, a, as a farmer, but even before that, uh, my father had an arcade down in Ocean City, Maryland, and uh, I learned uh, how to give out coupons and display uh, items for uh, for the customers that way. So it was quite an experience. So I've always been a, uh, a worker, and uh, I carry that same kind of work ethic from the early days of you know the arcade and the farm, and I carry that into real estate today. Now, when you talk about that, that that's... It's a little different from what we're dealing with, not not our personal families and our kids and whatnot, but a little different back when we grew up. And like you said, you're working on a farm, then you're going to an arcade. It gives you that work ethic, but also, uh, you know, I mean, even we are. I, I'm guilty of it here. And, and folks, for listening on radio, you know, I'm playing with my phone with the hunch neck and doing it. And not so much playing with my phone, but working for my phone, playing with my phone. It's a big different world. When we were kids, you're out there working with people, socializing. Right. When I was down in Ocean City, Maryland, my parents kind of gave me a free reign. You know, I was 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years old, just kind of doing whatever I wanted to do. And it was uh, that freedom, uh, which I really appreciated, uh, but also the opportunity to learn the entrepreneurial skills that, uh, that uh, the arcade uh, provided me. And then the work ethic on the farm, that was hard, hard work. And uh, I, was, I was good at it. But, uh, you know, some family situations happen uh, now and again, and uh, I decided I had to go in a, a different direction. But uh, I decided that I was going to go from the farm to sales. So that's quite a, a jump. It sure is. Listen, a little farm uh, story. My mom and pop born in Puerto Rico before they came out to uh, the west end of the county. Uh, first Philly and then the west end of the county. And my dad got in a little trouble back in the day. Uh, third grade, Puerto Rico. Grandpa owned a farm in Puerto Rico. And uh, he was a farmer at the one time, and then he got some land as, as he went on. Grandpa. And my dad got in trouble. At third grade. Third grade. And he gets uh, the, the, the teacher calls, uh, whatever they did back then. He, Grandpa has to go into school and, and do all this. And my, my father gets home with Grandpa, and Chael says to him, Either you go to school or you go to work. Right. This guy says, I'm going to go to work in third grade, you know, on a farm. But the crazy thing is, Grandpa said, okay. <laughs> so, well, you, you know how tough those old farmers yeah, are. Yeah. And uh, you have to earn their respect. And the only way that you earn their respect is you have to outwork the next person. Right. And uh, that, that's what I did. And, and I did get the respect of a lot of the farmers there. But uh, I, I decided that uh, I was going to maybe not uh, be able to physically you know, do it forever because... You take a look at a lot of the farmers, they, yeah. you know, their, their hands beat are yep. just really beat that way. So I decided that, you know what, I'm going to take a little bit of a different direction. Oh, absolutely. This is just smarter, not harder, right? That's what they say. And not that it's not hard work, uh, but you're right. There's so much uh, as we see it in Hamilton and that uh, part of the uh, county, uh, West End, and whether it be you know, Lyle and Buna, it's a, it's a rough life. And they, and they go through it, and especially with the climate. You're dealing with Mother Nature all the time. So you made the right switch, obviously. Well, we, uh, we, we worked uh, very hard. I uh, started from uh, nothing. I actually got my real estate license back in uh, 94. So I've been licensed since you know that time, 27 years. But uh, I really started uh, doing the business in, in a bigger way back uh, year 2000. So uh, it's, uh, it's been a, uh, quite, quite a journey. Started very small right. and uh, out of my living room, more or less, my company. And of course, to be a real estate broker, you have to be an agent for three years before you could open up your own. But the entrepreneurial spirit uh, was always a part of me, and I knew that that was something I was going to do. So I, I opened up the company in 2002 out of my house. 
Right. And you know what? When you say that the entrepreneurial, God bless America. Because this is, we're free to do this. Right. Uh, you can start from nothing and uh, really uh, build uh, year by year into something, uh, you know, spectacular. So it's been, it's been wonderful. Right. And I don't know if you remember this, but I got to meet you, I think it was in 2006, uh, when I sold my house on Oakwood Drive. And uh, you were coming around, you were just new in the game, maybe right. a few years. You were so helpful to us, first time buyer. So now as we go through this, Joe, talk to us a little bit about how... Um, the market is and, and some of the great information we were going back and forth texting this morning and I want you to take the lead on this and just go with us and you know right. I'll bounce in and we'll sure. just have a conversation. Well this has been an ex extraordinary market it's been um, something that uh, I, I haven't seen I, I, I've seen good markets in say 05 and 06 uh, but nothing uh, like the one that we just experienced or you know or, or in the midst of uh, so, so what's you know what's driving this market right now? Uh, there's really a lack of new construction is mm. is a big big problem in the market. The builders are opting. What I'm seeing anyway, they're opting to build the senior communities, the over 55 communities, and they're not building a whole lot for the first time home buyer or for that step up home buyer. So I'm seeing a lot of uh, shortfall in invo inventory in that particular market uh, se segment and uh, that's what's causing a lot of the prices the squeeze that we have felt over the last say 18 months right that would be the ratio list prices of what's going on there and that was going to be one of my questions I got some notes I, I actually wrote them out but it was for the first time buyer because we have a lot of uh, believe it or not uh, youth moving into the area mm -hmm. whether it be Atlantic City with the university being um, up there since 2018 and phase two going on uh, with Stockton University and our, that's our wish here in Atlantic County and Atlantic City to get young buyers right. get that degree you know uh, get fall in love with your girlfriend uh, you know marry her have a family right. so uh, Atlantic County Right. The, the market will only go as far as the income of the people that are trying to buy. And I can tell you that we've kind of maxed out right about okay. here. And the market was uh, just absolutely ripping uh, June, July, August uh, this year. And now there's been a little bit of a breather here uh, come you know fall. So uh, that's in good part because the buyers are realizing that, hey, I'm getting priced out here. I'm just going to take a breather. And uh, let's let's see what happens over the next you know six months. Let's let's rent a place for a year. I'm seeing a lot of uh, those kinds of scenarios. But for the people that have to buy relocation or, or want to buy, they're they're still going to buy. Right, they're still going to do their thing and, and find you and look for the place. Folks, we're talking to Joe Wiesner, Wiesner Realty, out uh, at the west end of the county. But we're going to get him down here. This is a great place for uh, uh, like I said to to live. I think all Atlanta County. I mean, I know you do parts of Gloucester, Canton. Let folks know exactly what uh, yeah. areas you hit, Joe. We're, um, we're active in all eight counties of South there Jersey. Oh, wow. So uh, we're members of all four MLS systems, and I have agents uh, all over South Jersey that uh, are able to service the clients in the various uh, regions. So uh, we're more of a regional company now, which is um, very exciting. So that's what we're working towards every day, building that out bigger and bigger and getting into all the local markets that way right that's awesome listen uh, one of the things we do here at the ac mike show we give out information during the interview instead of just at the end let folks know where they can find you now take mm -hmm. your time whether it's websites facebook pages phone numbers and whatnot and we'll do it again at the end sure. top of the hour uh, the, the best way is uh, phone or text which would be 609-400-3035 or our website, which is phenomenal, uh, thinkw.com. So that's T-H-I-N-K-W.com. So those are the best ways. Uh, you can also email, and we'll share that maybe a little bit later. Yeah, that sounds good. Hashtag thinkw. I like that. I yes. saw that on your site. Yes. Now, listen, you got a great site. Now, let folks know a little bit. I mean, you, you, you spoke on it. You touched about it a few minutes ago renting versus buying you know mm -hmm. i mean that's always been the question one of the ones it's got to right. be top five or i don't know what you get right. when you're getting people coming in for first timers but what do you what do you say to that well the the rents have skyrocketed uh, do you the, deal with rents also yeah we okay. we, uh, we handle uh landlord uh side and we also handle the tenant side so yeah we, we do both okay but uh, the, the rents have uh, soared over the last 18 months 
so sometimes it's very beneficial for the tenant to look to see whether or not they could buy because the interest rates are so low that you could almost have a better situation buying than renting because of the low rate. Right, and when you say interest rates, you know, I mean, I know it's kind of vague, but t talk to us uh, about, you know, where you think they're at. We're talking to Joe Wiesner, Wiesner Realty folks. Make sure if you have any questions, please feel free to call in 609-927-1100. Sorry, Joe, just had to get that in. I, that's, that's good. Uh, the interest rates right now are hovering around 3%. Okay. But, you know, it's variable because it's uh, relative to credit scores and down payment, et cetera. But on average right now, they're three, which is a, it's not the lowest that they've been, but it's a very, very low rate. Right. What was the lowest? Uh, just for poops and giggles. Uh, the, the, the lowest I saw was a, a few months ago, 2.4%, wow. which is almost free money. Not right. really, but almost free money. <laughs> Have you ever seen it that low in your time? No. no. Uh, when, when I started in the business, they were at 10, 11%. Yeah. Yep. And then when they got the six, you know, we thought that... That's what I was coming around playing, thinking that was like... That, that was going to be it. But, uh, you know, certain monetary procedures that uh, the Fed have... Uh, has provided uh, has enabled this uh, situation for years on end now but i'm not sure how much longer that's going to last yeah it may be a little bit longer we're going to stick around for a little bit listen we're going to go to a break folks go grab your mamusa <laughs> your tea whatever it may be do your honeydew list or whatever we'll be right back shortly with joe wiesner wiesner really hey come right back and now here's ac mike hey folks welcome back to the ac mike show listen we are so happy that you're with us this afternoon. Every time you come, I don't know if you caught it, Joe, but I, I follow uh, Joe Masaglia. He's got a beautiful restaurant, Mamma Mia's. Uh, he does great food. There's nookies out there. There's pizzas. You probably hear it. it smells like a restaurant sometimes in here. It's not my armpits, I swear. Yeah, no, it's good. It smells great. <laughs> yeah. So, listen, folks, we're talking to uh, Joe Wiesner, Wiesner Realty, uh, talking about all kinds of stuff happening in the uh, realty uh, world. Uh, listen, we're in a time i like it's unprecedented whether it's pandemic or not prior to it um you know the, the market was moving all kinds of places but you're one of my favorite things the, the way i got this radio show and the little tv show i do at comcast Stockton university arts and humanities department thank you uh president kesselman is through social media right. and, and you know I, I would just my nephew got me at about 2011 or 12 and said mm -hmm. uncle mike you got to start putting that some of that stuff that you do. You take us to games and restaurants and this and that. And my daughter and I was like, yeah, get out of here. So he did. And all I did was just try to keep it positive. I'm not naive. I worked in a prison for 25 years, and I wanted to run out of there as soon as I could, the craziness. And I'm involved in politics and behind the scenes and, and done some work and that. And that's all cool. But just positive. And I've seen... Um, firsthand as, as a raw guy, mm -hmm. as no, no one has been trained, 56 years old, how it can really help you uh, depending on what your platform and ha how you put your uh, issues or whatever it may be. Talk to us about your presence on, on Google and whatnot and what you do. Well, real estate, it, it was evolving. You know, Every two or three years, you'd have to kind of evolve with it. But now the pace is so fast that it's every year. If you're not keeping up with what is out and the latest and and, and most important, which right now is social media, uh, and social media slash uh, video on social media. Guess what? If you're an agent and you're listening to me right now and you're not getting on social media and you're not doing video on social media, it's likely I won't see you in a few years mm. because you're gonna be supplanted by the millennials that are doing the videos all day long and they grew up with that and the Generation Zers and those uh, age groups are primed to take the real estate business that you know you've created over uh, you know likely decades, but uh, it's it's a whole new genre and you got to learn it. And I know that it's going to be hard for the agents to learn it, but that's something that uh, you have to get in your mind that that's this is the new reality of real estate. And it sure is, uh, whether it's real estate or any type of business, but especially real estate. Real estate, I would think, as I'm sitting here talking to you and looking at you because it's such a visual market, right? And what better visual too, whether it's a phone or a, a drone or whatever it may be, and the different platforms. Right, it, it's very competitive real estate, so you have to just have yourself out there so that people recognize you and mm. feel comfortable with you. And that's the name of the game, is the familiarity of being out there and being you know, a, a brand. 
And uh, that's what I promote in my office all the time is how can I make my agent that may be in Sweetwood or my agent right. uh, out in Voorhees, how do I make them the brand for that zone where they could hopefully dominate that zone? Go ahead, Joe. And, 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 and you do that through uh, social media, you do that through mass media, advertising, uh, postcards, but your imagery has to be spot on and, and similar or the same in all those different genres so that, hey, I see that person everywhere. And if you're right. ubiquitous to the market, the market will like you and will reward you with more business. I, I love it what you're saying there, and I'm jotting notes down as you speak, because uh, we were talking during the break, folks, a little bit about uh, coaching some of his agents and, and the Google and the sellers. But when you talked about zone recognition, listen, mm -hmm. they call me, it's not a self-proclaimed like Hamilton, the blueberry capital of the world, which was brilliant by whoever said right. it back then. But they, the blueberries are, are beautiful out there. But somebody started calling me AC Mike. Mm -hmm. And I remember sitting on the phone with a friend one time, and I'm like, hey, is this guy busting my, you know, my goyons? <laughs> and it said, yo, AC Mike, where can I get a good steak uh, without jumping into one of the casinos right. and one of the local restaurants or bars? And I was like, uh, you know, hey, Laurie, is this guy busting? She goes like, no, you, right. you know what? You're sharing Atlantic City, and that's where it is. But somebody recognized that that's is what I do, and it's what you're saying it's perfect, so I kind of feel good because I'm listening to a pro here. Right. Well, yeah, AC Mike is perfect for you because you are Atlantic City and you're in front of the mic. Right. And your name is Mike. It's like a double right. entendre. It's beautiful. Right. right. So no, I appreciate that. Thank, thank you. But I, I love it though when you say that, like your agents, whether it's Sweetwater or, or mm -hmm. Hamilton or uh, Echo or wherever it may be, Nesco. That's you know, hey, there's Jim there. You know, and I know she knows or he knows what he's talking about. Whose idea was this? Was this you sitting down with the team or just like as you sat there with your wife? Or? Well, I always had a fascination with uh, marketing yeah. and, and how brands uh, sold. Uh, so we just kind of picked that up and, and delivered that to, uh, to the real estate world. Uh, so, yeah, we, uh, we, we've worked really hard uh, with the electronic part of real estate, Google and Facebook and right. Instagram and, and all those things. But we still do a lot of the traditional things. Uh, open houses and postcards and uh, uh, emailing and, and things like that but by far the most important thing that agents need to do is pick up the phone and just call your people <laughs> there you go that's what you I, need to do I have my business partner gets on me all the time uh, not that I'm a, a, a hell of a texter because I'll, I'll, I'll join all kinds of people into my conversation as you well know but I he's just like dude call talk to somebody and there's two things it's call talk to somebody and recognition like you saying uh, whether it's zone recognition or being familiar with that face right. but when you do when you put all those things together then it's magic right and then that's mm -hmm. when you don't take three listings you take nine listings and then it starts to multiply even further from there so you have to have all those things but it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of uh, effort and it takes discipline yeah and most salespeople don't have the discipline to, to do it so uh, that's advantage to those who, who do. Continuously, day in, day out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it takes work and it's time. Um, but listen, folks, we're talking to Joe Wiesner. Uh, it's the quickest half hour that I've been through in doing an interview, <laughs> and it's a lot of fun. Joe, real quick, we're going to touch for one minute, and then we're going to let you give your information again where people can find you. I have some notes, and I'll continue to put up and put out there. Joe will be a guest again on this show because we got so much more to talk about than real estate and all that, whether it's politics, public service, our beautiful uh, state and country in which we live. Joe, talk to me about this, this uh, craziness that you had at your house last week. Beautiful craziness. It was like a controlled chaos with that uh, Halloween uh, uh, yeah. assembly. Yeah, that started about 20 years ago, believe it or not. So it wasn't like an overnight thing. Right. We've collected a lot of things. And uh, I, I love uh, <laughs> just kind of bringing the community together in, that, in our neighborhood there. And it's not just me. There's a whole lot yeah. of other houses there that get involved. And it, it's a major spectacle in, in the town. Amazing. And uh, I, I think that it's important that we preserve our traditions and yeah. Halloween, you know, is definitely an American uh, tradition. That's right. And it was just, uh, it's just a lot of fun for us to put it together. And uh, we, we had it really hitting on all cylinders uh, this year and the crowd was great and everybody had a great time. So yeah. it's, it was just, it's always, uh, it's, it's a lot, but it's a, a lot of fun. Uh, it was awesome. Listen, my girl Lisa had brought me out and invited me to your house, and <laughs> we had so much fun with your wife, your family, and uh, yeah. it was a really good time. Great food, but besides that, walking around the neighborhood. Yeah. Folks, we've been talking to Joe Wiesner, Wiesner Realty. I want you to give those numbers and names. And listen, folks, too, 
Go to his page besides for the real, the, uh, the housing and all that, and check out what we were just talking about a minute ago. Go, Joe, it's you. Uh, best phone number, it's also a text number, is 609-400-3035. And then the website is thinkw.com. So check that out. It's It's got all kinds of local resources. And if you look for your development, you'll probably find it on there, uh, a link with all the actives and, and solds in that particular area. That's cool. So folks, make sure you check it out. Again, we're going to continue to pull it up. And uh, I think it's so important in this time in which we live. And we also, like I said, one of the big things in Atlantic City and Atlantic County, so many folks were moving out, right, at one mm -hmm. time. Now we want them to come back in. And with all this craziness pandemic going right. on, we want them back. You got 30 seconds. Last word to you. Uh, I, uh, I think the real estate market has been uh, unbelievable. Uh, you've had quite a ride over the last uh, 18 months, but it's been a bit of an abnormal market. So nothing goes straight up, guys. So expect that we're going to have a little more normalcy going forward here. There you go. You heard it from the man, the expert, Joe Wiesner, Wiesner Realty. Think W, folks.